Is modern Japanese worth it? There's a barrier to entry. It can cost a lot to ship it to the United States if it's not already in the US. There are a bunch of variables. I think it's worth it. Let's get started. Hello, beautiful people. Captain Zack Sparrow here. Hope you're having a great day so far. I wanted to talk about Japanese sealed product. Not only am I getting a ton of comments asking me what my opinion is about it. First of all, be careful when you ask someone about their opinion because there are a lot of stupid people out there. Hey, what do you think about the Nessa box? What do you think about the EV Gem box? And just some other questions like that. There's one thing I want to throw out up front. Yes, Japanese, uh, I'm going to be talking about sealed product for the most part here. Japanese sealed product or any Japanese anything, you're going to have to send it to the United States. It's going to have to get here one way or another. You're either going to have to set up a proxy service such as like Tenso or a bunch of other shipping and forwarding services. You can use by E. I would Google that information. It's super easy to do. It took me, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to set up an account. Once you have an account set up, you can go to Amazon Japan. You can go to Pokemon Center for Japan. Oh, that opens up some opportunities there for you. Now, you're going to have to pay the forwarding service, of course, a fee for that. Generally speaking, depends what item you're buying. You can expect anywhere from 15 to 25 bucks to send it to the US. Again, that can change just to give you an idea though. So if you're looking at a $40 booster box of Shiny Star V, you're going to pay an extra 20-ish dollars to send that over here. Now, I understand it's hard to get your hands on some product like that, so you're probably going to pay a lot more than that, generally speaking, just to give you an idea. Usually when I'm looking at numbers for modern sealed product on the English side, I look at around five years, just to give it a little bit of time to rotate out of that no-no print zone and to see, hey, does this perform after a few more years? Just to give you an example, on the Japanese side, Almost always you see it outperforming English. Why is that? Because if it's a Japanese product, that means it's Japanese exclusive. They don't have Evolving Skies in Japan. They don't have Shining Fates in Japan. They have Shiny Star V. There's only one place you can get that. That is from Japan. Wow. In Japan, again, generally speaking, you're looking at more exclusive items. I really like that from an investment standpoint. Now, again, depending how long you want to hold the product, doesn't matter. I see Japanese sealed product outperforming English all over the place. Sure, it can be a bit of a pain to get your hands on it, especially if it's a hot item just coming out. You have to sign up for a lottery, and then you just have to wait three weeks just to get that dreadful email saying, hey, sorry, you didn't win. But back to my point earlier, I look at around five years, usually what I'm looking at, modern-ish, English sealed product, you can look at less than half the time frame, two years from, and I looked at before 2020, so we don't have those crazy numbers to throw into the mix. The Mario Pikachu box, I'm sure a lot of you have seen it before, from 2017 to 2019, again, not including 2020 numbers, from 2017 to 2019, two years, you're looking at a 275% increase on that product before all of that craziness. During kind of a lull in the market, a 275% increase on an item, only a two year period of time. These products are more exclusive. They are then by definition more rare. Does that make me excited from an investment standpoint? So do I think the EV Gym box, the Nessa box, even the Mario box still, the Mario Pikachu box. Do I like the, what is it, the Poncho Pikachu Charizard box? All of those I love. But what about normal booster boxes? I love the normal booster boxes way more than I even like the English boxes. And personally, this is just a personal thing. I think they look cooler too. They're smaller, they take up less space, they're lighter. I love the cardstock. The cardstock, I'm sure as most of you know, it's easier to grade. So if you send that off to CGC, PSA, whatever your spice, that's also dandy too. So it's more exclusive, it's more rare. There is that barrier to entry, so not everyone is going to be aware of it, care about it, or wanna deal with the hassle of signing up for an account. I am not kidding, guys. You would be shocked at how many people don't buy stuff like that because Oh, there's one step involved. 
I'd just rather pay triple on eBay five months from now. Hey, whatever floats your boat to get your hands on it. Even then, I really like Japanese seal product, even the cards. And we can talk about that another day as well. I wanted to make a specific video explaining why I like Japanese seal product so much. And the reason why I don't talk about it too much is because we get a lot of new information here in the States about English product. Big surprise. So I'm going to have to talk about English product too. Do I think there are there's plenty of opportunity on the English side? Absolutely. This video is about Japanese sealed product. So we're going to talk about Japanese sealed product. And I know I recapped a little bit earlier, but again, it's more rare. So it, it's more exclusive. It's more rare. Okay. It's not that expensive. It is really not. And because of that, you have a really, really great chance of seeing a super high percentage increase on your money. Because if you buy an item at $40, and that's why English ETBs perform so well, because you're only buying in at around that $40 mark. In order to double your money, that $40 ETB only needs to hit $80. In order for you to double your $100 of a booster box, that, that sucker needs to go to $200. So there are more dollars that need to come into play there for you to see that same percentage increase. Now, how long should I hold on to these items to make money? Do whatever you want, man. But if you're asking me, I like to wait until I make money on said item. And I like to wait a little bit of time. And because we already know, we've already established that Japanese tends to outperform English, I will hold it for a longer period of time, increasing the chances and to give it an opportunity to really outperform and put my money to work for me. Things to target would be Japanese promo cards. Again, you're only going to get it from Japan. The specific type of boxes like the EV gym box boxes, like the Nessa boxes, things that you probably won't see reprinted as much, if at all. Historically, those items do not get printed to the extent of a normal like standard-ish box, like a, like an EV Heroes booster box. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified of future videos just like this one. And until next time. Do you guys like this new setup? I like this new setup.